Hello everyone and welcome back to Blood Bowl 3. I lost my last game rather spectacularly. I've lost quite a few games now. I think the last three have all been pretty bad. Yeah, the last three... Well, actually, nah. The last three, like, properly played matches have been alright. But these couple of losses have really set me back. They've been pretty harsh losses. So, I've got things I need to work on quite considerably need to work on. Identifying good moves and staying calm and staying slow being one of them. Now, expensive mistakes, you probably can't come back to bite me, can you? No. Because I don't hoard that much. And let's be honest, after buying the Rat Ogre in, I have quite a lot of muscle on my team and a very inflated team value. Not something you really want when you're trying to compete in a ranked ladder. But it is what it is. Now, I don't think there's anything I can do in terms of level ups that I really want to do. Because I did that last session and that was upgrading this boy with claws. So I've got one with claws. I would very much appreciate an opportunity to get a little bit more SPP on my Skaven so that I can level them up with something else. I don't know what I'd level them up with at this stage, but uh, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of... I built them with tackle. Tentacles. Eh. That's not really helpful. The Hensile Tail, that might be. I mean, he has a Prehensile Tail, really, but it's just not massive. Well, I say that, it is pretty big, but it's not, you know, monstrous. Shiver Hands for we will pick up Test. I mean, I might as well just go with extra arms at that stage. Foul Appearance, Claws, Horns. Horns wouldn't be a bad option. A Blitzing Skaven. Would make a good blitzer because he has the movement allowance. And I know what I want to do with you. Extra arms is next. So you can pick up the ball and move with it. Oh, and catch it as well. Because, you know. It's not like this guy can just throw you the ball whenever he wants to and then you can immediately just run with it. Is that ignoring marking penalties? Plus one for pass tests on long passes and long bombs. Dump off leader. I mean, getting accuracy on long passes would be nice. Especially with like extra arms on the Dark Elf to make it just insanely annoying to deal with. But, I don't know. It's going to be a challenge to build this team properly. It always is with the Chaos Renegades because they're so haphazardly stuck together. That you can build them in any way you want, which is why I like them. But it also makes it hard, because if you build a team consistently towards violence, it's just bonkity bonkity bonk. But there are other teams that can do it better than you. Another Hawk team. I am slightly worried. I just went up against an Orc team, and they were very, very, very annoyingly hard to beat. That's also an incredibly large Orc team with a lot of reserves. So this could be awful. If they get plenty of injuries, I could be left with very little to do with much of anything. I'm scared here. This yeah, this could be bad. Sweating worse than a wizard standing in front of a brazen throne of corn. I do quite like their uh, emblem. I have money. They have the petty cash, though. 130k of it. That ain't enough for a star player. Quite. Doesn't stop them from getting one if they want one, though. Level 2 troll would block. Guard. Mighty blow. Guard. 
Mighty Blow. These guys just go ham on the Mighty Blow. That's actually kind of worrying. So basically, if they get anything, they're going to stun. They brought a couple of Bloodweiser kegs and a assistant coach. Ooh, that's really hot. So we got heat stroke being a factor. Sweltering heat. All I'm gonna say is, the fuck are you doing on the pitch? Okay, let's see what we do. The opposing team has a lot of strength. And I don't see much of a way out here, so oof. Big boy will block. Guard. Guard. They're just going with a massive wall of pain to try and stop me. And one gobble. Just been swapped out for a thrower. Alright, that's acceptable. Time to get my absolute head caved in because I know fine well they're just going to try and blast through my team. Begins at the back line. Plenty of strength up there. It's going to be a bit of an entertaining fight it out. My front line is going to go down and then my back line is going to be absolutely toasted. Maybe if I put three linemen up here, then we can't attack the big guys off the bat. But then how do I get the big guys in to fight? Play it strategically with them and play it slow? I don't know. I might try that in my next game. Changing up my line of scrimmage to something that's just not usual. I got an extra reroll. Begins with their initial attack hitting me quite hard. Mighty blow procs immediately for a stun. Now it's ready to move freely. I'm surprised they pushed and left. Likes to be well assisted in a fight. Down he goes. player on the ground, the coach will be spitting teeth about this. What does Mighty Blow do? Just... Is this going to be enough to come out on top? Check that later. The troll gets the knock. A, player without <laughs> a prone player is a dead player. Off to Put two throwers on the pitch. Both with Zebo SPP. That's a very abnormal strategy. I guess he's going to move one up to there as well. 
Yep, there he goes. There's the blitz. He's about to get punched above and below the belt at the same time. Yeah. Okay, he has guard and he doesn't, so. It's a bit strange that they're so free form here. Get him over there. That's a fairly good opening turn. One stun, a couple of uh, couple of blocks, and I've got my line back up, which they are now going to have to try and challenge again. I also have a couple of players who've moved up, which they're going to have to prioritise moving players too if they want to stop. Massive Bifford fan on Twerper has just sent you a rather intimate message, Bob. Would you like to take a look? Huh? What is over over position? Over action? Hmm? There. I'm surprised that you are. Okay, hang on. I see what you've done. Do they have guard or anything, or is it just. Oh, Right. There's guard, so that's now a double dive roll. Control, yeah. No. Oh. And guard gives it a one die roll here. Risky, but could be worth it. Unless you want to move another big and block again to get two. Then you're moving people away from the ball carrier, and I will be sneaking him back. Hmm. Curious. I don't understand why you would do that, but sure. It's left a rather large gaping hole for me to plug with my players. The attacker has an assist. It's going to get a knock. Is it going to get an injury? Now that's a yes, it did. He's unconscious. That is rather troublesome. Because I'm now a player down, meaning they have player advantage. Yeah. 
So, what I'm going to have to do is probably this. I don't know what else I can do here, it's pretty much locked. On, what will they do? Tackles, so this is going to be a takedown. <laughs> Stun. Yeah, that's kind of to be expected. Digging gets retasked. This is going to be decisive. Not really very decisive. Skaven's gonna get hit by the troll. Don't you dare hurt my Skaven. KO again. Great. Yeah, this is where it starts to come apart. This is definitely something I want to do. This is Thrower. And rather unbelievably, Take down the ball carrier down goes the other one.
Hey. I think we're good here. I've dispossessed the opposing team. They have a stunned thrower. Yeah, there's some things could be done here. Get bored. You know I have the intentions. Where are we gonna get to see a game? Come on, guys. Together. Oof. Now is the hit. That player went together. Nothing good comes from They've spending any time, time to the ball, though, for some reason. Game. I don't know why. Maybe they're just focused on trying to debilitate my team a bit more than play the game of ball. I should be worried, considering that if they do that, I'm going to be left short of staff and very, very hard up to try to get anywhere. Oh, too easy. I can live with that. Hey, that player looks almost competent. As I think can they. <laughs> yes, perfect. That's exactly the trap I've I wanted you to fall into. Like needing a four plus to move your boy it means you have a hard time moving him. Determined to get this. What are you so pressed for bloody pressure for? Okay, well, <laughs> that hurt. Only problem we've now got is. That's actually, never up. mind. We've got the ball. They did quite well to get that, actually. I'll give you props for that one. That was a good one. Risky action, Bob. Big and blocker gets humbled by the block skill player. This player. 
spells weakness. Okay. Pretty much done what I can. He's close. Not it make much. A difference. But, you know, no injuries. I'm not getting anything for what I'm doing. Then again, I don't think uh, that gave them much either. So, I've got them all here. Written a will. Written? Players can barely speak, Jill. But well, won't write. And you should know, you've interviewed enough of them. Throw her on the goblin. <laughs> Double push on the gobble. Yep, that was a predictability pattern. Go on. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get the double down because the floor doesn't have block. Well, it's up to you now. At Massive Bifford Fan on Twerper has just sent you a rather intimate message, Bob. Would you like to take a look? <laughs> What does ogre on ogre action mean? They finally took him down. Follow up or leave him? He's now a real fucking a fucking left. Hmm. That may yet help me. That didn't. Push up. Following. Put more pressure on the auger. Proc. Well, actually, Apparently, this player just can't even done. put his own shoes on alone anymore. You can't argue with that call, can you, Bob? No. Dodginess of being dodgy. Nah, I'll have a pressure on the ball, please. I 
that's all I can do, really. Shouldn't have followed up with him, though, because that's now a crowd serve right now. Like Mistake! I hope he knows what he's doing. And then again, at least I've managed to KO one of their players, so that's at least helped me to regain a one-player uh, advantage, disadvantage. Recovery. Yeah, they finally got their troll involved. Take down the elf, didn't work. Help those teeth, Jim. They'll have to pick up both of them off the ground yeah, the in a few push. seconds' time. Like off the field. Down he goes. Oh, oh. Ouch. Heal. Yep, he's out cold. Fair play to him. They capitalised on a mistake I made. I'm about to capitalise on one they did too. Maybe more than one, I don't know. Let's see what they decide to do now. They've got the advantage, but there is no sure. They really wanted to get rid of him, didn't they? That's a rather unfortunate turn of events. Sotling baked in a pie stands more chance than this poor kid. Actually, I'm getting hungry. Where's the nearest pie shop? Well, I've actually got it if free. I had a gold crop for everything I've seen lying on the field during my career, well, I could start my own team. You only need a million gold, right? Yeah, move him up. You've got a front door. Hmm. Oh, don't. Okay, let's see. above and below the boat at the same time. Goblin actually brought him down. Aren't you proud of him? I would be. I should probably say something meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. All I can think of is Splat. That'll help a player move. <laughs> if I had a gold crown for every player I've seen lying on the field during my career, well, I could start my own team. You only need a million gold, right? In these conditions, it's just crazy! Alright, let's see what they do for their turn 7. They still haven't really gained anything good. Just a KO on a biggin, which hasn't really gained me anything. Mm -hmm. 
as they attempt to break down my big boy. Which they did. Well, he's big, but he's no help now. <laughs> Serious injury, huh? Woof. Well, that's an MNG for a big fella. And a permanent scar that my boy is carrying around with him. For someone as big as him, not something that should happen. Gonna choose to stay put. No, they're supposed to follow up, moving into a position. Hmm. Curious. I now have no strength on the field at all either. So this could get quite sticky for a couple of times. Failing that, well, I can't concede a touchdown. Unless they want to make a move now. I can guarantee they won't make enough of a move to get through me. Then why should my be any different? Is this microphone on? <clears throat> I'm not really sure what they're going to do here. Get the blitzer up, obviously. Then. We've still got plenty of people. Are magic sponges really magical, Bob? So a broken arm on the gobble, huh? Passing ability down to five plus. Well, I mean, it's only when he makes the pass, not when he catches it, right? It's not the worst. Not the best either, though. Dirty enough to just something. Huh? A good coach always uses the right player to the right job. Again, sturdy enough to just take it. people am I down here? Five? I've got three reserves, so I'm down two. And that's going to be a hard fight for the next half. Have to admit though, Nuffle, you are being an absolute bastard right now. Where the hell are any of my rolls to do absolutely anything on any of my knockdowns whatsoever? Surely I should have had more than a stun right now. 
Well, I say I should have had more than a stone. I have, but you know, it's still absolutely dodging out of the way rather than blocking us. That's gonna hurt. Strike run Mighty blow gives the KO. That's another one down. I guess this is just a snowball match after a very hard fought lock up for one half. For uh, Let's take a quick look at that second thing. half stomp. The unmistakable sign of the player's eyes rolling up into his head. Not much I can do to win this one, I'm afraid. Another injury. Here we go. He's getting hit. One of my linemen. It is. Now nah, he's okay. I should probably say something meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. All I can think of is Splat. <laughs> that player's a little short. Oh no, my mistake. Well, they he's knocked my orc. Hmm, this is going to really hurt. The domino effect in <laughs> Okay then. I don't really have anything I can do here, do I? Not really. I don't have enough players to make a difference. Son of a fucking bitch. Let's see what Well, it's over. I was hoping for a double down so that I could at least get to the knock on the big end. But hey, it's my half now. Three people have been given heat stroke. Three of mine have been given heat stroke. One of my big guys has returned to the pitch. I have seven players because I have three heat strokes. Are you all right, Bob? Sorry, Jim. Seeing all that blood and death. Oh, it just makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. I have nothing here, do I, really? All of my ball handlers are out. All of them. And all of my linemen are out as well. I have virtually nothing I can play this match with, but I'm refusing to concede it. I will either lose it, or I will win it. It's just got to be one of those things. Only the blitzers have above or at least average movement allowance, I'm actually surprised. Are you really putting a thrower up front? I mean, you don't have any other reserves, do you? So... I'm guessing your animosity towards goblins, your animosity towards anyone that isn't a big enemy. Troll doesn't have animosity for its teammates because it's just dumb as hell. Please do feel free to just waste as much time as is humanly possible on a on a lineup that is not going to matter. Heat stroke really has just completely kaput both teams. This is indeed a vital kick. Team scores in deadlock. It's time for one of the squads to step up and be a winner. And they get a blitz, so I'm fucked basically. That's just the nail in the coffin that is going to kill my team. I can't do anything about this. The one chance I have to make a constructed counter-attack and it's blitzed away. So I now lose because I'm not going to have any advantage against the attack. In a thunderstorm. Yeah. Okay. Going to be yeah that I've, I've lost the game. For the I will open them. I've lost the game from the second half. First half, well fought, hard held, kept it. Second half, Nuffle just goes, no, you lose now. Sorry, that's the way this goes because it's tough. So I am basically completely screwed. 
Uh, the opposing team have such a huge numbers advantage on me, they can negate any strength advantages I may have, and are going to pretty much immediately end anything I can do to their team. Done. We're done. Forget the ball. <laughs> Just try to get it out of your wax. Just go over here. Uh, uh, Told you, I've lost the game. Fucking one plus. Rolled double one. I knew I would have lost this. It was an obviousness from the get go. Nuffles just pissed on me this half. I should concede, but out of principle and pride I refuse. But I'm not going to defend against ball attacks now. Kill anyone you want. Nuffles giving you a free pass to just fuck me, haven't they? Troll goes up against Rat Ogre. Yes, they picked up the ball. Surprised you didn't just run that way. The game's given you so much, I have nothing to stop you just running it in. Stupid to trip up like that. Bad for your head, bad for your pride. By adversaries like that, I hope he knows what he's doing. That'll have to do. At least I've managed to uh, KO one of their players. It's given me a little bit of a semblance in my back, back. How many players have we got here? Two against four, six, eight, nine, ten. And we've got what? Six? You were a perfume. Yeah, six no, v ten. It's a pretty harsh. Very different from perfume, Bob. Do you like it? It's called. Rotting cadaver. Literally the only Tommy chance Hilton. I had to win this was to get a good start to my offensive drive and it just got scratched away. Another knockdown. Another stun? No, he's alright. 
Still got four characters to move, though. And I've got two people left standing. They can actively antagonize. Rory Cleats is going to get hurt. goes. And now, lastly, one word to say about this ball. Not a word, Jim. A sound. Crutch. <laughs> okay, freed up the ball carrier. Is he just going to run for it? To be honest, I wouldn't blame him for trying. It might just be the best way of winning this game, to be honest. fucked me with it. Hey! You've been given a blessing by Nuffle of a free win here. Take it. This feels like no matter what I have tried to do, their roles have just beaten out mine in terms of their results. The overall back and forth between getting knocks and stuff, literally down to the gameplay, hasn't really been that much different. And now... The rules are just like, yeah, that we lose by attrition, sorry. Shit happens. Um, anybody got any playing cards? Or, hey. Hey, still standing. choice but to concede a touchdown here. Numbers advantage is just too much to come back. Especially now. That player better get up. Nothing good comes from spending any time on the ground in this game. There's nothing I can do here. Second half, Nuffle really just goes, yeah, you uh, you lose. They they win. I, I really cannot actually figure out a way to get by this. It's just sheer numbers advantage is holding them together now. And it's because every single knockdown roll hasn't done a damn thing because of sturdy armor values across the board compared to mine, which, albeit, are still just as sturdy. I still get an injury. You know, it's, yeah, I still get fucking absolutely wrecked. Oh dear, I hope that player has written I have a couple Will of players who have below Britain. average armor. Players it's Skaven, the Goblin. Those should have been the easy picks. The Skaven fairly was, the Goblin not so much, but then really? Not even a slightly lucky roll, not even once to get an injury, just nothing. I mean, I don't have anything in this match. They've got the advantage, anyway. but there is no sure thing in luck. 
I don't think I've had any SPP whatsoever. Get up or get off the what a depressingly bad match this is for my team. What are you going to do? Apparently, according to me, I'm going to complain because this is, well, let's just face it, right? The first half went perfectly well swimmingly, the second half just literally went, there you go, little one, have your win. We'll just fuck your opponent entirely. I don't really know how else I can put it. Three <laughs> rolls be damned, kick off event with literally They're just hands free the fucking victory. It's, yeah, there's uh, a lot going on. Six plus on armor break, ten plus for injury. Stun. I was hoping for something a little bit more impactful, but uh, I guess a stun foul has to do. The players on the ground. Go ahead and count a foul if you want. I don't mind. Five gold pieces says he gets kicked in the face first. Stunned, but not much to do. I can't really tell him to change what he's doing here, can I? This, I think, is definitely an over. There's not much to say. They've definitely scored. I do not believe really stupid came off. Another player on the ground. Yet still will be spitting teeth about this. He got himself out of a dangerous situation. Again, nothing. Damn. Tough nuts to crack. Pretty risky. <coughs> All right. Well, you can have Let's it for free, because it's the over. Team's turn. Yeah, this shit just does not like me enough. Second half was my one chance. I had one opportunity to make a pass play and move forward and try and get through, and it just blitz fuck. Now I'm left with so little and so few options that I have literally choosing one of them Did this guy leave his being the only answer so I get really, you know, all roads lead to the same place, no, losing. Too easy. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Nuffle, I fucking this hate you. You're a fucking piece of shit. Alright, come on, let's finish this up. We've got two more turns of agony because they're going to score this turn. I would hope. If they don't, well, then I don't know what the hell they're wasting time for. But sure, you can do that if you wish. Go for it. He won't let me alone any time soon. There's the nat one. <laughs> Try 
Right, please just give me an injury or something. He seems a little nope. stunned, doesn't he? Absolutely refused. Turn 15. Their team just held up like an absolutely freaking gate. Solid concrete and steel gate. Reinforced with bloody radioactive uranium for how much damage it seems to have irked to us. So you're going to be missing next game, you're missing next game, you're just out. And you guys are all heat strokes, so you're fine. Good thing I've got the Rat Ogre as backup then. I didn't expect my Ogre to be out. Rat Ogre gonna also be knocked out for next game as well now. That would have been literally just a cream on the cake kind of fuck you from nothing like that. If I was literally left without two big match, that would have been a grown player is a dead player. <sighs> gonna send a backup over there. Oh yeah, big backup. This is gonna hurt. Injury. <laughs> nah, he's up. Somehow. <laughs> well, you can argue the call. I don't think it works. Very odd, Jim. I think we've got an honest ref here. Holy shit. Really stupid did not destroy my chance. Next time they should hire a team player. Well, you know. Ah, at least they have teammates around. Yeah, go ahead. Take it. You can and he actually died! What Holy shit! Any punch that can detach a head from the body. Well, that's not fire. good. I mean, he was my random guy, so. I think this is game 14. If this is game 13, I think that's pretty symptomatic of what just happened. Pretty bad, and there it goes. Game-winning touchdown. That's a down touch, everybody. Uh, sorry, uh, I had no hope in hell of holding that back this half. If I could have held possession at the beginning without that blitz giving it away, I probably could have held this for a good 14, 15 turns, and then maybe played something to get a good win out of it. But no, this game's second half just literally free fucking pass express to victory for me. Oh well, the uh, the corpse that this match has made is going to be missed by absolutely nobody because they're useless. It was a lineman who died in the line of duty. And thankfully he did not gain the, uh, the MVP because that would have been really awkward. And probably just the cherry on top of how bad that second half went. I lost another dedicated fans. 60k was what I gained. So I'm still gaining gold from the match at least. And the progression overall is surprisingly quite good. Let's get the next battle pass level. So I get the warpstone ball. I really like the warpstone ball, I ain't gonna lie. More oh, warpstone? That seems a little bit too soon. I only got some literally what? Eh? What is it every five levels you get warpstone or something? So it seems to be. Fair enough. Oh well. I've got a person I need to replace now. I tell you though. These last few matches really have put a spin on this. This was a really good record at one point, like 9, 4, and 1. Wah. Painful. Anyway. You. I need a replacement. Give me a replacement. I don't care who it is, just 
A random lineman, please. Anton Gorley cleats and Corvus the Ballista. Well, could be worse. I have two people on this next game. Not too much of a fan of the lowered passing ability, but uh, I'll have to live with it. At least for now. Because, well, I mean, he's only level 2 with two heads. It's only like extra chance to dodge, and it's not really been that good. But he has killed someone, so I don't want to let him go. Ah, decisions, decisions. These last couple of games have been brutal. Both Orc teams. Both pretty concisely harsh beatings taken. Not exactly the bad loss. Not the second match anyway. The first one was a bad loss. But the second one... I do not know how perfectly the stars can align for me, but clearly it's not as good as what it aligned for them just now. That second half was so one-sided, you would think I didn't even play the game. I mean, I basically didn't. I didn't have enough players. That being said, though, it would be nice to get kind of that same snowball effect for me once in a while, because it doesn't feel like I do get the same sort of free pass to winning kind of things happening. Oh well. Swings and roundabouts. Except it only swings in one direction. Shame. <laughs> 